So this one is a bit different. It's different than Vagabond, different than Vinland. This is about, so I'll tell you in the beginning, the, the, there's this thing that comes into creation and basically takes the form of whatever it gets close to. I'll explain in depth later. So in the beginning, a wolf finds it and the wolf dies and this thing takes the form of the wolf. And then the wolf runs into this boy and this boy is basically he was left behind by his village who went to explore or you know went to another land across the sea or something you know so this boy he basically stays with this dog for like half the chapter and then this boy he was like hey let's go out let's go out and explore so the boy goes out with the dog and explores they they get pretty far but ultimately they find that the villagers have all died of a sickness or something so they head back and the boy catches a fever and the boy doesn't want to die so he he really, he really doesn't want to die he starts crying and then eventually he dies and when he dies the the dog takes his form and the dog just walks like it walks for for a long long time until it, it runs into another girl another 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 person right so eventually it's like it's like whatever it gets connected to it kills or they die it takes its form so it the whole goal of this thing uh, its creation is to get rid of other things that infect the world they're called um they're basically made of like trees they they so whenever it gains a new form the it means um whenever i mean it i mean the immortal thing the wolf i'm just gonna call it a wolf all right that was its first form so whenever the wolf takes a form the these enemy tree looking things they can take the form of whatever he has and use it for their own so basically they're like a, a second rate version of him but they don't have a consciousness so they just destroy whatever they see so this guy is basically his whole like goal is to like stop these things make sure they don't infect the world anymore and there, there's this hooded guy who guides him along the way apparently he says like he calls him his father he's like i created you i created you for this reason do this do that do that so it's it's a bit of tragedy in, in the sense of like everyone he meets everyone that joins his side eventually die and he has to take their form obviously he can change back and forth to whatever but he he has to stick with that form knowing that like you know they he they died and he has to remember them forever and he he like you know can't really age with them or anything so it's pretty cool that that like so whenever the host body ages so say the boy ages whenever he takes the form of the boy again it'll it'll show the boy of the age he's supposed to be at that time if you get what i'm saying so i found that pretty cool that the author you know kind of like put that in so I mean, check it out for sure it's, it's cool and some of these humans that he takes forms of they prepare their bot so he gets famous and people like um they want to help him on his journey so what they do is that they prepare their body to help him later on you get what i'm saying so some of them like eat poison for their whole life and become poison resistant and they meet him and they die so, but so as long as he met them he'll be able to take the form of their body like connection wise not like you just see their face all right so he gets a bond with them and he gains whenever he takes the form of that person's body he also gains whatever they internally had so they were poison resistant he is now also poison resistant i think that was a cool little aspect the author added there but um let me know what you guys think about it